Hi, hello, this is Anup here, and in this video, we are going to see how to install. No, oh, that's a different video. Okay, in this video, we are going to see how to remove a management point from a primary server or a remote site system server. As you have already seen, it's pretty straightforward to remove management point role from SSEM or configuration manager console, right? After that, you can verify MP setup dot log to get the confirmation of the removal of the role, right? And you can check MP control dot log as well as uh, MSI log file for MP setup as well, right? So these are the verification steps you can go through and what next you can do is basically you can go to IAS and verify whether all the web services related to management point got removed or not so this is for the clean removal of management point this would be useful when you have an issue with the management point and somebody if somebody suggests you to reinstall the management point so you need to make sure that your management point configuration is removed properly from the server and once that is removed you can reinstall or install the management point role on that server again okay so that is the recommended process okay which you can follow for the reinstallation of the management point if for example if your SCM or configuration manager clients are not getting policies okay there could be several reasons for clients not getting the policies from management point there could be some issue with management um, client side there could be some issues with uh, firewall ports there could be some issues with communication so if you found the management point is the issue then the reinstallation is the best option i think that's it for this video thank you for watching if you like the video please click on like button if you don't like the video click on dislike button see you next time bye bye